Okay, so no exaggeration, but I need to leave the house in literally like 12 minutes. <laughs> um, and for some reason I decided that now was the perfect time to film a YouTube video. So we're gonna do it all in one take. I'm not gonna edit it, let's just, let's just chat. Welcome to that, welcome back to Jack in the Books. <laughs> so I have got a little haul of four books here. They're all quite slim as well. Um, and basically, these were inspired by one of my favourite people in the whole world, Dakota Warren. Um, she is a brilliant booktuber, YouTuber, um, and in fact, I will leave the link to her channel down below because she is in touching distance of 100,000 subscribers. So, if you could do one thing for me today, please, please go and subscribe to her channel. In fact, do it for yourself because her videos are beautiful, exquisite, the vibes are immaculate, and she has some brilliant recommendations, which I've taken for myself too. So, Dakota was actually visiting Paris for the last like two weeks, and we spoke loads about writing, about reading, and these were the four books that she recommended to me the most of all, I think. Even though we spoke about so many books, these were the four that I, you know when someone recommends you a book and straight away you're like, Stop talking for a second, I need to write this down in my phone notes app, you know? Um, that's what happened, and so I ran. I didn't just walk to the bookstore to, uh, to go and buy these. So, I wanted to give you a little haul and tell you about them, because uh, these are books that I'm going to be reading next month. I'm um, actually, maybe I shouldn't say this in case I don't manage to do it, but I'm going to try and read 30 books in 30 days in July. Why? I don't know, I thought it'd be a good video, and so that's why I've gravitated more towards kind of like shorter books, but this is the first one. A Girl is a Half-Formed Thing. Firstly, cracking title, cracking cover. It, it, it was already a winner in my eyes when I saw that, but this is the description. So it's an award-winning debut novel which tells the story of a young woman's relationship with her brother and the long shadow cast by his childhood brain tumour. It is a shocking and intimate insight into the thoughts, feelings, and chaotic sexuality of a vulnerable and isolated protagonist. To read a girl as a half-formed thing is to plunge inside its narrator's head, experiencing her world at first hand. This isn't always comfortable, but it is always a revelation. What a blurb. And the top of this page literally just lists all of the prizes, the literary prizes that this was nominated for. Um, winner of the Women's Prize for Fiction, Irish Novel of the Year, winner of the Goldsmith Prize for Fiction, shortlisted for the Folio Prize, the Desmond Elliott Prize, uh, shortlisted for the Authors Club Best First Novel Award, this is our first novel. Um, Dakota rec recommends this very uh, highly, but the reviews say, it's an old-fashioned thing, a genius, the adventurous reader will find that they have a real book in their hands, a live one, a book that is not like any other, that's from The Guardian, and ten pages in, and all the bells start ringing, it explodes into your chest. So, there you go. I'm excited about this, a girl is a half-born thing. Um, the next book is this one, Indelicacy. Um, we have lots of reviews on the back, but the blurb says this, a ghostly feminist fable about class, desire, friendship, and the battle to find one's true calling. In an undefined era and place, a cleaning woman at a museum of art aspires to do more than simply dust the paintings around her. She dreams of having the security and time to use her mind and the liberty to be a writer. She escapes her lot by marrying a rich man, but having gained a husband, a house, high society, and a maid, finds that her new life of privilege is no less constrained. Not only has she taken up different forms of time-consuming labour, social and erotic, but she is now, however passively, forcing other women to clean up after her. Perhaps a more drastic solution is necessary. Reminiscent of a lost Victorian classic in miniature, Indelicacy is at once a ghost story without a ghost, a fable without a moral, and an exploration of the barriers faced by women in both life and literature. Holy shit. <laughs> Who's writing these descriptions, and why am I in the palm of their hand? Jeez. Okay, some reviews. Um, bewitching, part feminist fable, part ghost story, a book that reaches backwards and forwards in time as it seeks to talk back to literature and art. Um, Vogue says, it calls to mind various Victorian classics, but Kane's writing also feels brilliantly, eerily contemporary. Now that I love, and I know that Dakota does too, so. Um, even though we haven't read that many of the same books, um, the ones that we have both read, we tend to agree on. 
So, um, and I also have been forcing her to read Beautiful Lover Are You by Sally Rooney, which she did really enjoy. So, um, I'm now taking her recommendations and this is the second one. This is probably the book that Dakota recommended me the most. Um, she said that it left her just like feeling the most intense emotions. Uh, and you know what? That's what I want. So this is My Dark Vanessa, um, which I've heard so much about. It's described on the cover as an absolute must read, a package of dynamite and brilliant. Um, let's read the blurb. Vanessa Y was 15 years old when she first had sex with her English teacher. Now the teacher, Jacob Strain, has been accused of sexual abuse by another former student, and a journalist has asked uh, Vanessa to contribute to a story about him. But no one seems to understand that what Vanessa and Strain had uh, wasn't abuse, it was love, wasn't it? Question mark, big question mark. Um, described as addictively disturbing, as gripping as any thriller, consumes your waking hours, unmoors you from your lived reality, grips the very core of you, and doesn't let go. So, you know what, I need to read it! <laughs> and uh, I, I hope this uh, is, is ready to make me cry, because I think this, that's what's going to happen. Um, the writing's quite small in here. Good luck, contact lenses! Hey hey! And the last book that Dakota recommended to me, um, well, the last book that I've bought so far that Dakota recommended to me is Carmilla, which is um, the cult classic that inspired Dracula. Now, I love Dracula, um, so I'm very, very intrigued by this. Succeeds in inspiring a mysterious terror better than any other writer. There you go, and this is the blur. Okay. It's in an interesting font. It's, it's not the easiest to read. <laughs> Bear with me, we're gonna try. <laughs> um, in an isolated castle deep in the Austrian forest, Laura leads a solitary life with only her father for company. Until one moonlit night, a horse-drawn carriage crashes into view, carrying an unsuspected guest, the beautiful Carmilla. So begins a feverish friendship between Laura and her mysterious entrancing companion. But as Carmilla becomes increasingly strange and volatile, prone to eerie nocturnal wanderings, Laura finds herself tormented by nightmares and growing weaker by the day. Predating Dracula by 26 years, uh, Carmilla is the original vampire story, steeped in sexual tension and gothic romance. So I believe this is a sapphic romance, um, and I'm very intrigued to read this because I did not know there was like an OG vampire book that wasn't Dracula, so um, yeah, I think this is going to be a very important read for me, but also one that I'm super excited by. Guys, I think we've done this in one take, that might be the first time ever. <laughs> but I've managed that. But that's because I'm in a rush. And in true uh, being a parody of myself, I'm actually meeting a friend at a bookstore. So <laughs> maybe these won't be the only books that I end up buying today, but um, these are the ones that I wanted to show you. Uh, these are the books that Dakota recommended to me. Can you hear the sirens in the background? Maybe that's a warning. <laughs> maybe that is foreshadowing. <laughs> but anyway. Um, Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I love you all loads. Um, thanks to Kota for the recommendations. And like I said, don't even bother going down to the subscription, the subscribe button on my channel. Go to Dakota's channel and please, please, please subscribe right now. She makes wonderful videos. And we actually filmed a collab on this very sofa, which is coming out very soon on her channel, where we give you 42 oddly specific book recommendations. It's one of the most fun videos I've ever filmed. I really, really enjoyed it. So. Um, that's coming very soon. Um, reviews of these books are also coming very soon on my channel. Um, but for now, have the most wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, all the best, stay in touch, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye Wow, the little squeak at the end there. <laughs>